Good morning, welcome to Planet Mojo. Today, I'm gonna to remove my grandfather's 91-year-old cast iron sink from our former mini barn dominium. But first, I need to figure out how I got this in there. I do believe that the sink is just sitting in place and I think I have a 90 degree elbow right behind here, but I can't remember if that's attached to anything. I don't think so. So I think the first thing I have to do is just remove the water lines from those nipples and then try to take the nipples off. Once I have the nipples off, I'll try to lift the sink out of here. Once I have the sink out of here, I can take all the rest of this stuff down here out and then unbolt the counter itself. We got one leg there and a couple legs there, one behind the sink. Yeah, the sink has to come out first. All right, let's disconnect that stuff and give it a try. having a little bit of an issue getting these nipples out because they want to turn up at the elbow. I'll get them out, but it's not going to be easy. All right, let's try again. Oh yeah, that would have never came out, or the sink would have never came out with that in there. Gotta get that other one out now. It's 20 some degrees out and I'm sweating like a pig. trying to remember how this went in there 
and it may be that I have to take out the faucet to get this out of there. It's been 20 years since this went in, but it looks like that might be the case. It's too tight back there to lift up. Once I get the faucet out, hopefully this should just pop right out. This is going to be way too heavy if I tried to move the sink and the counter together. The sink is solid cast iron and this is a really beefy counter. All right, let's take this faucet off and try it again. Oh no, it's kind of coming back to me now. I believe that I had the elbow on the end of this and I fished it up from the bottom and then connected the faucet to that elbow. When I try to take this off, those elbows may just try to spin back there. When I did it the other way, I could hold this at the bottom and tighten this up. Yeah, I think that's how I did it. Damn, hopefully I didn't screw that up. All right, well, we'll give it a try. And if it doesn't come off, I'll have to line that elbow back up and just get a couple threads on there so I can stop it from spinning. Let's give it a shot first. take this nipple off now. All right, on this one, I could just rest my head on this and see up there but I have all this stuff in the way on this side. So let's take all this out and I'll be able to see up there and get my nipple back on there and then we'll get this off. And then hopefully this sink will come out of here. All right, this should be pretty easy. In case you missed yesterday's episode, this sink was originally in my grandfather's house. My sister lives there now, but it goes back to 1932 during the Great Depression. They built, it's kind of like a housing project. It was supposed to be like a socialist paradise. They had like greenways between all the houses and farms surrounding the community and everybody it had like a little downtown area and the people who worked in the downtown area lived in the town and all of that stuff and then well and nobody owned the houses and then that stuff all fell apart really quick and they ended up selling the houses like 10 years later and my grandfather bought the one that my sister's in now, the one this came out of. So the sink goes way back in the family. I mean, generations of kids were washed in it and lots of memories so I want to store it somewhere where it's gonna be safe until it can be used again hopefully I can figure out a place to use it Put this in 20 years ago 
and it's served us served us quite well that entire time. So it's about a quarter of the sink's life was spent in this barn. Maybe I'll make a Victorian tiny house or something where it would be really appropriate and put it in there. All right, I should be able to see up there now. Well, let me get this out of the way right away. Oh, let's move it. Yeah, all of these screws are square drive. That was all the rage 20 years ago. They're not used all that much anymore. Torx pretty much took over. Anything's better than slotted or Phillips though. Okay. That should do it. Show you what it looks like up there. I don't have a flashlight, so I don't know if you'll be able to see or not, but let's try to get that nipple on there. Oh, we got a mouse nest and a dead mouse. Not too old. A dried dead mouse. Okay, yeah, there it is. It's aiming in the right direction, so it should be pretty easy to get the nipple back in there. All right. Should work just fine now. A little stiff after 20 years, but... is just crushing. I remember when building this because that's cast iron it's not like uniform it's meant to hang from a wall so it wobbled when I put it in here so you can see 
where I had to carve this out so that the bottom would fit correct. And that's how much it was off. With that side laying flat, I had to make this wedge here and it sat on that wedge. That kept it from wobbling because it's kind of twisted. All right, I got to get all this stuff cleared off of there and then bracket and a bunch of lag screws and I can pull this out of here. What I'm going to do is put this on sawhorses, put the sink back in it. I'm going to put it down in the container and that way we can put stuff under it and on top of it, whatever, and it'll be in storage in there for a while. All right, well, let me clean this mess up and then we'll start unbolting this. All right, I went and got my roller stand. What I think I'm gonna do is remove all of the legs except for this one, get rid of all this stuff too, the bracket, and then I should be able to take this one out and then, well, I'll be holding on to it and then kind of finagle it down to the ground and then get it out onto the gator. Yeah, that little dead mouse reminded me of when we used this for camping. We had, I don't know if it was toilet paper or paper towels, but we had like a big thing of them on a shelf over here. And over on this side, there was a bunch of shelves here as well. We had all kinds of nails and stuff and a mouse had broken into the bag and was taking that paper all the way around the room and it had made a nest in a box of nails. So there was this little nest on top of these big pointy nails instead of just making a nest in the bag of paper towels. Thought it was kind of crazy. All right, I think maybe that's 9 sixteenths. We'll go get a socket for that and get going on this. All right. That is 9 sixteenths. Shift this around a little bit so it doesn't fall out. That should be good. All right. 
Looks like I can squeak in there. I'm gonna get this into that container, but first I gotta go get some sawhorses. Let me get that set up and then we'll run this down there. Grandpa's old sink is in its new home. Hopefully it won't be here for too long. I think I'm gonna go grab all the plumbing stuff and just set that over on the side. And yeah, at some point, I think I'll take these extensions off. I can make this a lot more compact, but there it is. And there it's gonna stay for a while. Yeah, that looks so different without that sink in here. Okay, I gotta go and have some lunch and warm my feet up. It's pretty darn cold out today. When I get back, I'm gonna finish up the electric. This is all that's left of the electric. And then I'll get this plumbing out, this out as well, and that'll be it for the day. Well, I'm gonna load whatever I can onto the gator and clear the place out as much as I can and sweep up, tidy up, and get the place ready for tomorrow. Tomorrow I will be taking out the rest of the stuff. We got nails everywhere. I gotta pull all of those. I gotta get the rest of this shelving out and there's a fair amount of that. Yeah, all this stuff over here has to come out. And unfortunately, it's nailed in place. This was before I used screws for everything. I wish to hell this had screws. Yeah, this is gonna be difficult. I don't know how long that's gonna take. This could take a few days to get this stuff out, but we'll be starting that tomorrow. Okay, I will see you in just a minute. All right. Let's get the last of the electrical off real quick and straighten up, get this stuff packed into the gator and we'll be done for the day. Okay, I got the place cleaned and organized and ready for tomorrow. I could not get that box off because those two boxes are nippled together and then that box is nippled to the one on the outside. I can probably get it from the outside or I can just take it off when I take the wall panel off. So there's all the junk that came out of here. I'll just take this pipe off tomorrow when I take the rest of this stuff off. There is a lot of stuff that has to come off. And I'm not exactly sure how some of it's fastened. This is probably glued on, but again, that can come off with the wall panel. But 
all of this stuff. There's all these nails, nails everywhere because we hung stuff from the ceiling. Yeah, look at them all. Just everywhere. I could probably just cut these with the grinder. These just screw on. Yeah, the hardest part is going to be these shelves. I have to bash these out and then yank the nails or cut them later. And we have a good amount of them. But it shouldn't take more than a full day. And then I should have this downstairs completely done and be ready to work on the upstairs. I'm not exactly sure how long that's going to take. You can see there's more conduit and boxes and Romex and there's insulation up there. So that'll take a day or two up there as well. And then this place will be completely stripped down and ready to start taking the walls off. I got to do some reframing. I got a frame for a window here. It's going to be a window upstairs facing that way. Another one on this side. Yeah, it's going to be a real cool little place when we're done with this. So if you want to see all the action, make sure you subscribe and click on the update icon. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you put them in the comment section below. And if you share the video and or give it a like, it helps the channel greatly. Thanks for watching and have a great day.